Gloucestershire are set to be the first to become parents after getting treatment at a new Midlands same-sex fertility clinic. Kay and Jenny, who are from Malvern, are 23 and 24 years old and have been together for four years. Earlier, I spoke to Natalie Drew, who founded the new Gay Family Web Fertility Centre in Birmingham last April. Uh, we offer to uh, matchmake sperm donors with uh, gay and lesbian couples and we also help uh, heterosexual couples as well, but it's mainly lesbian couples we, we offer that the women can actually meet the donors so they get to um, get a feel for what they like and if it's the right sort of person for them that they want to uh, have a baby and make a baby with since we opened in 2006 we've had 523 pregnancies we've probably got about 6,000 women on our database at the moment uh, that we've helped or you know in some way or they've just given advice or gone right through to pregnancy with Okay, Jenny's baby is due to arrive this April. They're sitting next to us in the Worcester studio this morning. Hello, both. Thank you for coming in. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Uh, as we mentioned in the introduction there, you're both in your 20s. Just tell us a story. How and when did you decide that you wanted to become parents, Kate? Um, I think I was just ready. I kind of <laughs> brought it up in conversation with Jen, and we made the decision to go for it, really. A decision to go for it. It's a big yeah. decision to make, though, Jenny. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, um, I wanted to have a like somewhere supported for them, so I made sure I had a decent job and somewhere to live before we went through with anything. And now we've got that, so we went through with it. So what what normal people do really just uh, make make a nice nest. Yeah. And then feather the nest and, and off you go from there. You're struggling with a cold this morning, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> You're doing well if you hear a few uh, <laughs> splatters off my then you'll know what's going on. So. The, the fertility centre. Just uh, hearing uh, from the uh, from Natalie Drew there, who's, who set this up. How did you come by by them? Was it an internet search? Uh, Jen saw them on this morning. Yeah, <laughs> found um, them on this morning and looked on the internet and then messaged them. Yeah. So well, it was just a quick search. I must admit, a question that's that's troubled us is how did you decide which one of you to carry the baby? Was that was that a big decision? A difficult decision? I, it wasn't really difficult. Um, it was more to do with health issues. Um, I know I'm only a year older, but I uh, I just felt that being a year older, I kind of just wanted to go for it first as well, really. Right. So, so it was a, an age thing, a health thing? Just a health thing, because I've got um, some health issues. It was better for Kay to have the baby first. Why didn't you actually go to an NHS clinic? Why actually find somewhere that would specialise in helping same-sex couples? Well, we were aware that, obviously, with the NHS lists, there, there comes a list and you have to wait a long time. Um, and also, because I'm a healthy young woman, we decided that you didn't need maybe we didn't need the sort of clinical messing about and things. We just needed to find someone who'd help us. What, what have people said about your story, the reaction to the fact that you're pregnant? Um, well, generally, it's been brilliant, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah, very positive. Yeah, we have loads of luck and that. Yeah, we've had a lot of support from family and friends, um, and our work have been brilliant. Um, and we've, we've had a bit of a mixed response. Yeah, there's been a few negative outside of that. What, what, what sort of things have been said negatively? Um, just like our... Um, the child needs both a mother and a father, or it's just not right. There's been it ranges. So, will you worry about how your baby will be treated where, when it's older? Because Elton John in the press last week was worrying about his son being stigmatised for having gay parents. Do you have the same worries yourself? Yeah, I think uh, of course you do. I think all parents have worries about their child being bullied, whether they're ginger or fat or <laughs> I think you know unfortunately it's just a problem that we'll have to overcome when the time comes if needs be. What about, what about choosing the the father if you like the, the sperm so how was that done I mean you, you've got a, a sort of catalogue of, of different people that have donated it <laughs> without sort of making it sound ridiculous but I, I guess there are certain criteria you have to pick through. Yeah I mean we you, you sort of have access to a database through the, the clinic um and you kind of just go through looking for the characteristics.